In this video, you'll see how to use the Divi Page Builder to create a custom registration page for your MemberPress memberships. This membership registration page here is what I'll be creating in this video. So I have a sample baking MemberPress site here, and it was made using one of Divi's many pre-built layout packs. I'll click Sign Up here, and you can see that I have two memberships that people can buy. I'll click my basic membership, and it takes me to this membership's registration page. And it looks like this by default. So I'm gonna be using Divi to completely change this page's design. Before I get started, you'll need to have MemberPress installed on your WordPress site and a membership created. You'll also need to have Divi installed as well. So first, for my WordPress dashboard, I need to enable a setting in Divi to make it so that I can use it to edit membership pages. So I'll go to Divi here on the left sidebar and click Theme Options. Then I'll click the Builder tab. And here I'm going to enable Memberships under Enable Divi Builder on Post Types. So this enables the Divi Builder functionality on membership pages. Then I'll click Save Changes to save this. Once that's done, I'll go to Member Press and Memberships. And you can see my two memberships here. So for this video, I'm going to be editing my basic membership registration page, so I'll click to edit it. And since I just enabled that setting in Divi, I can see this button added here, Use the Divi Builder. So before I get started using the Builder, I want to change a few options here on the membership edit page. I'll scroll down to Divi Page Settings, and I'll select No Sidebar here under Page Layout. If you don't see this, just click on Screen Options at the top and enable it. Then under Custom Page Template, I'll select Blank Page. These options sort of give the Divi Builder a blank slate of sorts design-wise to style your pages. So I'll click here to save everything so far. And then I'll click Use the Divi Builder here. And then it gives me some options to clone an existing page in my site, build from scratch, or use a pre-made layout. I'll choose Use a pre-made layout. Now, when creating or editing your pages, you don't necessarily have to use pages that you built the rest of your site with. You can mix and match. For my example, I'm going to be using a page that isn't in the layout pack that I built the rest of my site with. So I already know what layout pack I'm going to choose, so I'll search for it over here. And it's this Marathon homepage here. So when you're doing this, sort of think creatively and look for pages that have elements that fit your needs. Chances are you're going to want to use a page that isn't specifically designed to be a registration page of some sort, which is totally fine. So in this example, it's just a home page for a running site. So this Marathon homepage looks simple enough to edit, and I can use this top heading here. So I'll make sure it's the page I want, and then I'll click Use This Layout. It'll take a moment to load on the page, and I'll click Update to make sure everything's saved. And you can see the page added here in Divi. Now, you could make edits from this window right here, but an easier way is to use the Builder. Before I go into the Builder, I'm going to scroll down to the Registration tab of Membership Options. And then I'll click the Membership Shortcodes link here. And then I'm going to copy this first one. This will allow me to manually place the registration form itself onto the page, so I can choose where I want it to go. And you use this first short code here to insert it onto this page. So scrolling back up, I'll select Build on the front end. It'll take a moment to load. And then it takes me to the builder for this registration page. And you can see the layout inserted here. So scrolling down, you can see the whole page is populated here. The first steps I'm going to take are to delete any sections or elements on this page that I'm not going to use. I'm going to keep this page pretty simple since the purpose of it is to make it simple and easy for someone to buy a membership. So I'll delete this section here, and you do that by hovering over the section and clicking the trash icon. I'll delete this one here, and I'll leave this section here so I can add some information as to what people are getting with this membership. And I'll delete this section, and this one. And you can see my registration form here at the bottom. This will be removed when I manually place the form on the page with a shortcode. So here I'll delete this button as well. And I'm going to delete this text too. 
Then I'm going to click and drag to change the height of this section to right about there. Now I'll go through and change some more elements. I'll use this heading text to display the name of my membership, so I'll change it to Basic Membership. And then I'll open the settings for this section by clicking the gear icon. Then I'll click Background to start changing the background. I can see here there's a background gradient applied as well as an image. So first, I'm going to change the image to match my site. I'll click this gear here and change the image. For the gradient, I'm just going to delete it. And then I'll go back to background color and make the background color a lighter version of black. Like this. Then I'll go back to the background image. And here under background image blend, I'll change it to multiply. So I still want the image to be seen, but I want this header to be pretty dark. And the image blend achieves that. So I'll go back to background color and click to edit it. And bring the opacity down a little bit. Right about there. That looks good to me. Now I'll click this button to save these changes. And before I move on, I'll click this button down here and click here to save this page as well. And then in this section here, I'll change my membership features, which I'll just set to sample text for this example. So here's what it looks like so far. The next thing I'm going to do is insert my registration form. So I'll click this plus icon to create a new section, select regular, and select this single row column here. Then under modules, I'll search for text, and then add a new text module. Then I'm going to replace this filler text with my short code that I copied earlier. So I'll paste it here. Then I'll save the changes again. Now sometimes this form won't show up right away in the builder, but saving the page and hitting refresh should make it appear in the builder. And it often won't look exactly how it will on the front end. Like here you can see the credit card field is messed up a little bit, but users visiting your site will see how it should look. So now I'm going to style this section in form. So I'll hover over it here and click to go into the settings. I'll click background to give it a background color. And I want it to match my site branding, so I'll start with this purple color here. And I'll change it a bit with the color picker. To right there. That looks good. Then I'll go to the design tab here. And spacing. I want the form to have some breathing room from the edge, so I'll add some padding. So I'll change the left and right padding. right there, and add some padding on the top and bottom too. And that looks good to me for now. Then I'll go up here to text, and make the text bold, and I'll also change it to white. Then I'll go to border, and I'll change the border radius so that the corners are rounded, just like this. Then I'll come here to sizing and lower the width a little bit. Right there. And then I'll change the max width to the same thing. Now I'm only scratching the surface with the design settings in this video. I'm not going to get into different sizing for different devices and mobile or anything like that. I'm just doing the very basics, so keep that in mind when designing your pages. So next, I'm going to change the module alignment here to center. And now I want to change my padding again to account for its new width. There's just too much room right now. So I'll go back to spacing. And for the left and right padding, I'll change it. And same for the top and bottom. And that looks pretty good to me. I'll go back to sizing real quick. And change it a little more. Right there. Then I'll make sure to save it. Next, I want this form section to overlap this section up here. So I'll click the edge of this section and drag it up. Right about there. But now you can see that I have this white background. So I'll go back to the section settings. I'll go to background. 
and you can see it has a white background. So I'll change it to transparent. And that looks pretty good. I'll adjust it a little bit more. Right there. Then I'll click to save everything. And this is what the page looks like so far. Then I'll be sure to save the page again. Now I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard and open my site in a new incognito window. So I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So it's like I'm viewing my site as a brand new visitor. Then I'll go to sign up and click to sign up for my basic membership. And here's the page. Now I'll do a test sign up with some fake testing data to make sure that the form works. So I'll fill out the information here. Then when I click sign up, you can see that I'm taken to my thank you page, so it works. Now, going back to my registration page, one thing you'll notice is that this sign up button here doesn't really match the rest of my form, because it's the default styling. You can style this sign up button using custom CSS in Divi. If you aren't familiar with CSS, these are a bit more advanced steps. But to show you how this works, if I right click on this button and choose inspect, it'll bring up the developer tools. And I can see the CSS class for this button is MEPR-Submit. You can style this class with CSS and Divi. To show you, I'll close this incognito window and go back to the WordPress dashboard. Then I'll go to Divi and Theme Options. Then if you scroll down here, you'll see this field here for custom CSS. Here's where you can style elements on your site. Now I already have the CSS I'm going to be using, so I'll paste it here. And you can see that these styles are being applied to the MEPR submit class. Then I'll click here to save this. Now if I open my site again in a new incognito window and navigate back to my basic registration page, you can see the new sign up button styled here. You've now seen how to customize your membership registration pages in MemberPress with Divi. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.